Good morning and welcome. We are going to do a little chemistry demonstration with my first period science class because they are amazing. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, yes that is correct. Okay. We're going to show the principles of basic chemistry here. We're going to do a little demonstration with the chemicals I have here. Now let, let's get a pan of my amazing first period class. Let's, let's get a look here. We have the red-haired guy and then... I'm cooler than him. Oh, I'm crazy! <laughs> All right, now that you've seen the very unique people we have in this class, we're going to do the demonstration. I need two volunteers from the audience to come up here. Okay, we'll do one, two, come up. Yeah, come on up. Okay, to do this, we have two chemicals. This is called energetic light solution. It's in this amazing bottle here. And then we have this. This is called potassium ferrocyanite solution. Okay. What I need. If I drink that, will I die? Um, probably wouldn't be too good to drink. Okay. You're going to need these chemical, these safety goggles, so put those on. Just in case we don't want anything to happen. Right? We don't want anyone to die. Because five people have died in this experiment before. Actually, five and a half if you count the midget, but I don't, because they're not, never mind, okay. We have here, we need 70 milliliters of this, pour 70 in there, we need 70 milliliters of that, pour that in there, okay, I need to get my safety goggles on, I need pills, vitamin, now remember, remember, pour it with the dip, heck, Busted. All right. Just a little no. No, no. No, that's good. That's fine. Okay. Pour it into this beaker right there. To actually get the measurement. You want to be exact 70 milliliters. Because that's not very precise. You can't, it's hard to tell. Okay? Jordan, you pour this into there. Okay. Now who I need someone else to measure seven milliliters. Seven milliliters. Someone, Jordan, measure seven milliliters. All right, Tyler, you can sit down. Yeah, yeah, we can keep those back here. Seven milliliters in there. Now be careful. That comes out quick. That is what he's pouring right there. This is um. It's very common. I just lost it. Seven. What the heck? That's hydrogen peroxide. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have poured this one. Get, get, go. Got it? Okay. Right. Pour that into this one. Okay. Let me. All right. You can sit down, Jordan. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm mixing this up. I got to mix up the hydrogen peroxide and the potassium solution for this reaction. Okay. Now, everyone, it would probably be good for people to come up here to see this happen. Yeah, go ahead while I give the signal, turn off the lights. How are we doing, Kayla? Okay. Good. Wait, not yet. I can't see. <laughs> Man. Okay. This is the energetic light solution right there. This is the hydrogen peroxide potassium ferrocyanide solution. Okay. Turn off the lights. Now. Just look at the reaction that's going to take place. Now you notice you can't see anything with these liquids, right? Okay, now watch. Can't see anything on the camera. Yeah, there's nothing on the camera. Don't worry. Sweet. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Now check that out. Can you see that, Kayla? Yep. Look at that. It's a, it's a glow in the dark solution now just by mixing those two those two chemicals right there this will last probably about 15 minutes but notice turn on the lights now now notice this watch this when the lights are on it looks like that you can't even see it turn off the lights now bam it's glow in the dark it's amazing it's a miracle 
It's like the Lord turned this into the glowing. But I did instead. Okay? So, go ahead, turn on the lights. That's pretty sweet. All right. You guys can all sit down. Thank you all for watching. Tune in next time when we blow up the school. Yeah.